So what's the deal with the dog and bone wetsuit? Well, it's a drop rated waterproof case that doesn't come with a screen protector. So it's kind of like the life proof nude, but kind of not because well, well, you'll find out. The standout feature of the wetsuit on paper is the lack of screen protector while offering full waterproof and drop protection. What? That's supposed to be really cool, right? But I'm really not sure how useful it is. And prior, about 20 minutes before filming this video, I did this to my iPhone. I'm a little annoyed right now. If you're looking for other waterproof cases, check out my reviews for the Life Proof Free and the Dog and Bone Wetsuit Impact. I've got reviews for the Ghost Tech Atomic and Catalyst Waterproof coming out as well. For my Dog and Bone Wetsuit review, I've given this case a score of 3.5 A's out of 5. This is a slightly below average case in my opinion, and the biggest fault of it is <laughs> actually the screen protector and the fact that it comes apart when you drop it. If you need a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, both Dog and Bone's cases, check out the comparison tool on my website. Links are in the eye or the description section below. Real usage, real reviews. MobileReviewsA.ca at mobilereviews.ca, we base everything we do on actual usage, and we do this to answer the question, should you get this product? And in order to answer that question, we have to go do bad things to our iPhones, which results in iPhones being broken, which is frustrating. So very, very frustrating. Again, the most unique feature of the dog and bone wetsuit is the lack of screen protector while maintaining 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meter water and drop protection. This is a very novel feature in my opinion, and the lack of screen protection does come at a cost. For design, the dog and bone wetsuit is actually one of the thinnest waterproof cases for the iPhone 7. It's pretty much the same thickness as the dog and bone wetsuit impact, despite having an extra o-ring on the front portion of the case. The case is wider by one millimeter, which isn't much, especially when compared to the Atomic and the Free. In fact, this waterproof case is actually slimmer than most slim cases that I review. There are a couple of different color combinations uh, to get, and I'm actually quite fond of this light and blue colored case that Dog and Bone sent me. Now, Dog and Bone did update the wetsuit for the 6S. The original 6 wetsuit came in three pieces and made the case very unique look looking, but it was very large. This current version is very similar in terms of design to the older Life Proof nudes. The case fits well together generally, and like the wetsuit impact, has a slick front, so it will slide around a lot. The case weighs about 40 grams, which is quite average in terms of weight. The texture of the case isn't too bad, but the slick edges means that you'll be fumbling for your phone a bit more uh, when compared to other waterproof cases. For protection, the wetsuit has a standard 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meter water and drop protection. On our first case, the case came apart after one drop. If you want to see what I did to that case, do check out that video. This seemed odd to me that it came apart after one drop, so Dog and Bone, I asked them to send me another case, and they did. And I just did this about half an hour ago, and well, the iPhone came flying. It literally came flying out of the case. I've never seen a case come apart like that. And my iPhone landed on concrete, face first, and so the screen got cracked. If that wasn't a big enough kick in the nuts, General screen protection is lower than other cases because there isn't a screen protector. Uh, but there is a bit of clearance so the wetsuit will keep the screen of an iPhone off a flat surface. The buttons on the first case were incredibly tough to use. Dog and Moon, the second case that they sent me was much better, but the buttons still require a little bit of effort to press. So if you do get one with the brutal buttons, see if you can get it returned or get a replacement because they're quite brutal. The port cutout is quite tight. Uh, so some third-party cables might not work. The lack of screen protector does come at a cost regarding screen access. The high edges on the case makes the edges of the touchscreen harder to access. The Dog and Bone Wetsuit Impact and Life Proof Free do not have this problem. In fact, the Life Proof Nude also doesn't have this problem. Overall, the sound coming from the wetsuit isn't great. Sound coming from the bottom speakers and the earpiece speakers are both definitely muted. Qual quality is definitely better than the Ghost Tech Atomic, but is a far cry from the wetsuit, which is odd because the membranes kind of look the same. When it comes to versatility, extra versatility, the wetsuit allows you to attach a wrist strap so you can safely take it swimming or, you know, if you fall, it's, your iPhone's not going to go flying wherever you're not going to go end up hurting yourself at. The case also features removable plugs, which might be important for some people who tend to pull everything around the iPhone when they remove Remove the lightning port. So with the dog and bone wetsuit, would I get this case? And the short answer is no. The case is very slim, but if I was looking to get a case without a screen protector and still have that drop in water protection, I would go a life proof nude. I, that's, that's kind of all I can say. Like I, I iPhone, smash.